Julie is in the office and she's like, hey Brian, there's some guys out here from Iowa that are interested in enclosures for blood pythons and what's gonna work best for blood pythons. And, oh my goodness, look at that. I mean, how awesome. Oh, ha, top of the morning, friends and family. Oh, I gotta tell you guys a little story and then we're gonna come back in here and I'm gonna hang out with some blood pythons. We're gonna show you some blood pythons. But first, uh, the point of this video, we got a story to tell, so let's, let's jump back a few hours in the day. Come back in here in a moment, but uh, I'd like to share something with you guys. Give me, give me like 10, 12 minutes of your time. I think a lot of you are gonna benefit from this story that I'm about to tell you. It is a story. It is a dog. Bye, Hilo. Well, blood pythons might be a footnote in this story, they're definitely a crucial part of this story. So just yeah, allow me to explain, please. Lakeside, beautiful way to start the day, right? A little drone action. Okay, so let's get started here. As I've shared here a few times on the uh, vlog, I've been, which vlog, by the way, real quick, I, we're gonna get to it, but I just wanna address something real quick. A lot of people on that video where I said, you know, I was struggling to figure out how to blend reptile content with this channel. Overwhelming response and comments was, you should just start a second channel. The thing is, I started this channel for that years ago. That's what this channel is. There, back all, all packed, ready to go again. I don't know why I took my helmet off. I'm gonna be riding this one wheel for a minute. As I've shared here, and I've alluded to a few times on this channel already, late last year, I was saved. I, I started following Jesus and started building my relationship with God. In the last month or so, I've been praying about how I can connect that part of my life with work. I love what I do. I love making videos. I love working with snakes. And as much as I do love it, there's something that's been missing from it, not, not, not missing, but just, just wanting to connect it. Wanting to, wanting to see how God is going to work with me with my animals and with my videos, with my snakes, with, with everything that I do for work. And because that's what I've been feeling. I've been praying about how's that gonna happen. <laughs> hurting a little bit. I'm gonna have to take care of that. Let's go back a month. I met Greg at Ragnar race, that, that race that we did from LA to San Diego or San Diego to LA. And then there was another Greg that also helped the document the run stuff. So they're part of the story. I met both of those Gregs. And so while I'm running the other day, I run into Greg number one, literally. And he runs with me to this path right here. And while he's running with me, he tells me, or invites me to this lunch thing that the, that the other Greg is putting on. Um, they just meet up once a week uh, for an hour and just have lunch and kind of talk about different stuff that they're doing. And so I go hang out at that meeting. That leads me to the next meeting, specifically about how to incorporate God's kingdom into your work, no matter what it is. It's 
Story Labs. That's where the meeting was, right here, just the other day. Um, Greg runs it, pretty sure. But it's loud here, we're gonna get out. AC unit. All right, this story is going somewhere really cool, I promise. My knee hurts. <laughs> hey! The battery on my one wheel literally died at my driveway. <laughs> oh, it's a steep driveway. As much as the knee hurts, uh, the bike seems to be okay for pedaling, so you come with me on a bike ride, I promise we're gonna end up in a beautiful place. My goodness, that feels good, sweaty, and good. If any of you guys out there are physical therapists or doctors or even have experience with this, can, can anybody please explain to me why my knee can barely handle walking down a hill, but I can ride a bike no problem, zero pain? It's, what? <laughs> Isn't that incredible? I didn't even know they had their own little mini lake up here. All right, let's recap real quickly where we were in the story. So, got saved end of last year. i praying about finding a way to connect my work with God's kingdom. And, oh, my goodness. <laughs> I was just thinking, I didn't see a single rattlesnake all the way up here. Guys, <laughs> look at this. I'm not even sure if he knows that I'm here. He's literally right there where I was standing. Like, right in front of me, standing. I was standing, he's at least right here. Here's where I'm standing. There's, there's him. Maybe her. Oh, she might be gravid. Wow, she's huge. Look at that. I mean, how awesome. I'm literally just thinking like, oh, there we go. Now, now my presence is known. I know I look like I'm close, but I zoomed in with my camera pretty far, so I'm at a safe distance. I'm, I'm out of striking range. I think she might be gravid. Do you see how the scales are kind of separated? Or maybe that's just how they are, but how cool. Literally come up here to talk about how I want to connect my work with God and snakes, and here's a snake, right, when I'm about to share the story. The whole way up, I'm like, man, it'd be cool to see a rattlesnake on this ride. I mean, it's a beautiful ride, but a rattlesnake would make it better. <laughs> oh, incredible. All right, so I'm just gonna hang out over here with my new friend. <laughs> cool, man. So cool. Uh, so, all right, all right. One more, one more try at the recap. Last month or so, I've been praying about how to connect my work with God's kingdom. Met Greg and Greg at the Ragnar race. Went to the uh, meeting there and then got pointed to the second meeting, the cultivators meeting at Story Labs. That morning, that mo that's where we left off. That morning, sorry, a lot has happened since I know it's only been a couple minutes on the video, but it's like, it's hours have gone by. At the end of that meeting, we prayed, everybody prayed. And th that group, everybody in that group is other guys who are wanting to do the same thing as me. And, you know, guys that work for Apple or uh, breed different fruits together and work in the, the agriculture industry, uh, marketing. Th there was a whole spectrum of guys, different lines of work, um, wanting to do the same thing as me. We prayed with that group that morning pretty hard, pretty hard prayer. So I was just like really feeling it is what I mean by hard. A couple hours later, I'm heading up to Freedom Breeder and my plan is to get there and film and come back home. And usually it takes quite a while 
to get Jesse warmed up, like sometimes two or three hours to get him warmed up in front of the camera. This time we got it done in like an hour and a half. Like the, we started filming almost the moment I got there and I was like, man, I'm gonna make it home in time for dinner. Speaking of home for dinner, I need to eat something. And I, and I here, let's, let's get back home. I got a lot of work to do. Well, the story's, story's not over. Tell you what, you got twice the amount of exercise when you film it. Man, this driveway is so steep. Ah. Whew. Okay, so I make it back from Freedom Breeder. No, I finished filming at Freedom Breeder. I'm all stoked because we finished filming super early and I'm like, I'm gonna make it home in time for dinner, which never happens. Julie is in the office and she's like, hey Brian, there's some guys out here from Iowa that are interested in enclosures for blood pythons and what's gonna work best for blood pythons. Can you talk to them? I was like, yeah, easy, no problem. I can talk to them right before. I take off real quick, I walk out and the, one of the guys standing there, who I know, know is now at Marlin, he's like, Brian, Cusco. And he's like, kind of mind blown. He's like, what are you doing? Like, why are you here? Which is not, uncommon for people showing up at Freedom Breeder to know who I am because the obvious YouTube videos and connection with Freedom Breeder there, but he he didn't know I had anything to do with Freedom Breeder and he didn't, he wasn't expecting to see me there. The thing of it is, is yeah, he's looking for blood pythons. And I, we did go in, into the warehouse and I showed him some stuff that, you know, the 90s and what I thought would work well, the FB 90s for for blood pythons and, and what, what where he was going. But that's, that's not the amazing part of the story. The amazing part of the story is he's there with another, his other buddy, uh, Ray, and they're both pastors. He's a pastor from Iowa and he's out there visiting one of the churches because he helps plant churches. Like he's part of this organization that plants, has planted like 1600 churches throughout the nation. So he's like, I, I showed your video in church last week. <laughs> I'm just like, what? <laughs> you did, you <laughs> and I'm just, I'm like, oh, I'm mind blown, you know, right? Like I, I've been praying for this. I've been praying about this. And right before I'm about to leave Freedom Breeder, this guy happens to be in town from Iowa visiting another pastor who was actually a pastor in a town that I was born in, Hayward, California, which is just another fun connection. So we, we get in and we're talking about it and I'm like, man, I'm so mind blown that I was literally praying super hard this morning to find a way to connect my work with God's kingdom. And lo and behold, just last week, one of my videos is being shown in church. The person that's showing it is now standing at Freedom Breeder and we're having a conversation face to face that same day. That same day as that meeting at Story Labs. That same day. Mind blown. Just mind blown. I mean, we're in the warehouse and then we talk about what's happening. He says he wants to fly me out to the Iowa to share our story of salvation at his church with the family and everything. And I'm just like, I'm in tears at this point. Just just uh, mind blown. And then he and Ray, they, they pray over me again. And, and, and it's just just incredible. I mean, there's been quite a number of you on here who have said that me sharing my journey through faith has been very helpful based on the number of people who constantly tell me that, you know, I've been, I've been saved for 20 years, but I'm, I'm never really comfortable about sharing my faith. So I wanted to put this out there, not just for you guys, but also for those of you guys that have been, been praying for stuff and just, just how crazy to actually wrap my head around how distinctly the prayer was answered. I mean, not that it doesn't always happen like that. You know, I'm, I'm aware it's not always going to happen like that. It's not always going to be literally the same day. Just be like, here, how about showing you how your work is being connected with God's kingdom? Blatant, obvious answer to your prayer. That's not always how it works. But, but man, it was very encouraging for me to have that experience and have those guys be standing there the moment I'm about to leave and the timing of it all. And I see it as nothing other than God answering my prayers. That's as simple as that. I'm sure people have their own, oh, it's just, you know, coincidence or this and that, but no, not the way it's been happening. To have been living through this last month as I, and going through the experiences I have, which are so numerous that I can't really, it's not feasible to share them all through video format like this. In my heart, like I know in my heart what's going on and it's incredible.
absolutely incredible. And I feel like we're just getting started. That's the crazy thing. Just feeling like just getting started and it's already been this this whirlwind of incredible moments and connection and relationship with, with other people and, and, and God and the whole kingdom. It's it's something as simple as the sunrise. Yesterday morning sunrise. I mean, ev- everything just is brighter. It's just something I want for everybody. I really want it for everybody. I want everybody to feel how I'm feeling because it's amazing, because it's absolutely incredible, because it is the greatest joy that I've ever known. Um, and, and that blends into everything. That blends into my relationships with my kids, my, my wife. Are we perfect? Absolutely not. Do I still get mad? Yes, I'm still working on it. But uh, I tell you, man, blood pythons. <laughs> <laughs> the Marlin, if you're watching, this is that 66-4 six, six where, I, where I keep my really, really big girl. That's that one I was talking about. But there you go, man. That's about it. I gotta. We're gonna play some cards real quick. I need to eat some food because I am starving, hungry. And then uh, I gotta edit this video, and then I'm gonna clean some snakes. That's 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 about it. I think we're done here. Um, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you need, what you're going through, where where you're at, and take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll oh you like you okay, bud? See you in the next video. Aloha. Yo. You're supposed to. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Let's try that again. What is this stick? Oh. Yeah. Now we know that I have an ace. Oh, good haul on that ace. Oh, T coming in.